Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? YouTube, it's your boy Cam the Trucker checking in. So, man, I'm on my way to orientation. Everything looking good, man. Everything looking good. I'm just checking on the truck, man. It ran like a bull coming up this motherfucker, man. So, we almost in Chicago. I got orientation in the morning. I'm just checking on the truck. I was gonna go Monday, but y'all know I'll talk about that on the end of this video. Yeah, this motherfucker ran like a dog, boy. I'm just checking on it, making sure everything good on the truck, man. But, uh, so far, so good. So far, so good, baby. Yeah, this this old 2017 Freightliner. Hey, shout out to my boy Mike, man. He told me to put something together. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to me today with that. So, yeah, we looking good. Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin', it's your boy Candle Trucker checking in, man, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit for your boy, man, had a good vacation in the Bahamas, enjoyed myself, as y'all see, I got a major fucking tan, I was like way lighter than this, I'm really like, I don't know, I'm halfway damn near black probably, but uh, yeah, so, uh, the truck has been running good, man, we like three hours from Illinois, we got orientation tomorrow, orientation tomorrow, at this new company that I'm going with. It's a flatbed company, man. Um, I think it's a good opportunity for me to spread my wings out, you know, do some flatbed shit, specialize, um, some specialized shit. Um, they got different pool of trailers. They got reefer, drive-in, step deck, flatbed. They got all type of shit, and they'll train you on it. And still let me lease my truck on, getting 88% of the load, man. Seem like that's the best thing going for me right now. Um, so they're a pretty reputable company. I haven't heard about them in a minute, but I heard about them uh, back in the day. So when I first started trucking, so I just reached out. They got like an $8,000 sign on bonus, $1,000 every three months, you know, for everybody coming in is doing flatbeds. So that's a plus. I ain't. I ain't know what owner operator can get a sign on bonus, but hey, shit, y'all see it. <laughs> so yeah, they offered an eight thousand dollar sign on bonus. So uh, this morning I had to pay like five hundred dollars in fuel. Uh, that's enough fuel to get me up here to uh, Chicago or whatever. So man, it's just something to look out for. I tried to finesse them into man, hey, will y'all reimburse me two fifty or something like that? But they weren't going. Um, they weren't going for it. I knew they weren't gonna go for it. But shit, it don't hurt the X. Uh, but the truck been running good, man. The truck been running good, man. We about two hundred some miles outside of Chicago. Truck been running great. I'm gonna get the truck governed at like seventy two, just because I don't really like putting my feet on the pedal. I don't like fucking with the cruise control. I don't like doing none of that shit. I just like putting it on the pedal, pressing that bitch, and rolling. So, um, yeah, man, I checked the truck just for minutes ago. Everything looking good. We're going to go to orientation uh, tomorrow. They're going to put a headache rack on my truck. Get me squared away far as with the flatbed situation. I start training or whatever. I think that's going to be like a two or three day process. So, I mean, it ain't nothing too major, but we really doing it. Um, I know a lot of people been reaching out to me about Nationwide Cargo. I'm going to get my final review on them soon. Man, but um, like I say, man, whatever decision you make, that's your decision. I just don't want people to think just because I bought a truck that you can go over there and it'll be easy doing it, bro. Like, man, just follow your own decision that fits your lifestyle, bro. That shit might not fit your lifestyle going over there fucking with them people, you know. Uh, it, fit my, it fit my lifestyle because I had a plan, you know. If you ain't got no plan... You're going to be stuck in that company web forever just waking up every day like, damn, I'm going to get peanuts to an elephant type shit. So, man, I had a plan and I got the fuck on up out of there. And um, most of these companies, when it, when a person like buy a truck from a particular company or something like that, not saying nationwide or nothing doing this or nothing, but they, most of these companies are trying to make it hard for the next driver to do the same thing, say for instance, that I did. Because at the end of the day, these companies do not want to lose drivers. So, man, it's something that I want everybody to really look at, you know, when you looking at companies and I say, quote, unquote, success stories, and really it ain't a success story. 
uh, that I done did, I really put in the fucking work. I earned every fucking thing that I got from them people and I made a play, basically. I bet it on me. And um, I basically was hustling my ass off and I got my own truck. So don't think, y'all, don't think that just because you go over there, it's going to be that sweet. They cool people. They do their thing or whatever. But they job is to keep drivers, bro. Their job is not to let nobody go. So it's a if you pick percentage, they'll start playing money games and all that shit like that. I'm just being honest with you. So, man, it's just something to look out, out for when you're thinking about going over there. Don't think because I got my truck and I'm, I worked at Nationwide Cargo. It's going to be sugar and, and it's going to be sweet, basically. It's not going to be sweet because at the end of the day, they don't want to lose drivers. They didn't want to lose me as a driver. But at the end of the day, I had to make the best decisions for me and my family. That's why I kind of kept it on the hush on what I wanted to do. Only people that knew what was going on at Nationwide Cargo was the people who really looked on my channel. And um, it is what it is. So, man, like I say, man, y'all my people. I love y'all. The truck running good. Like I say, I got a 2017 Freightliner. Um, on operating life, I'm kind of anxious for it. Like, let me see what this money looking like. But I'm still prepared for the bullshit that come along with it. So, man, it's just a sense of freedom. Like, um, Sunday I pulled the left out. I said, fuck it, I ain't finna go to orientation Monday. I'm finna go Tuesday. You know, if I was a company driver or um, a lease driver, whatever, whatever. If I was any other, like, besides the owner-operator, I would have had to be squeaking to that schedule because they they would have booked my flight. They would have moved, moved, moved. It's like, all right, man, I move when I want to move, you know. So, man, like I say, I'm still going to put in the work. I'm still going to put in the grind. I'm going to work out here for three months. Man, run that motherfucking bag up. I got a six-month plan on paying the fucking truck off. So, man, like I say, whenever I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I just get on YouTube sometimes and just play stupid with people, you know. Like, I knew I wasn't going back to Nationwide Cargo. Um, I been knew that shit. I just was on YouTube playing dumb with everybody, you know, because at the end of the day, it's my moves, you know. Everything... It's, it's, it's on me at the end of the day And it's my blessing So uh Yeah man shit That's all I gotta say I just be playing crazy on here like I don't know shit But you know it is what it is Really finna run this Motherfucking bag up I want y'all to watch Everything gonna be put on the glass too I just wanna make that clear And man um I just wanna say I love y'all I'm gonna sing I'm gonna make y'all another video tomorrow Once I get to the place Start doing my thing. They start working on my truck. Like I said, they're going to put a headache rack on my truck. They're probably going to put some gold rims on my tires. Uh, give me some black tin on my windows. Put some chicken lights on the side of my truck. I'm just playing with y'all. They ain't finna do all that. But we definitely finna get some shit done to the truck. Get me ready for this flatbed life. And, man, I just pray everything go good. Like I say, man, if you're going through anything out there, man, God got you. Just keep hustling and keep grinding. That's all you got to do. Wake up every day, save some money. Even if it's $50 a check, just keep saving that shit. That shit going to add up one day. So, y'all my people, can't tell y'all how many times, but I love y'all. Are you dig? Peace out.